Andy Salmeron, is that correct? Mm -hmm. yes. Andy's been with our club about four months. He's doing his second speech. And he's a manager at the wonderful company Pods, the ones that you see out there where you can put your, store your things in. But today, he's going to invigorate us by talking about preparing for a marathon. So, preparing for a marathon, Andy Salmer, Andy Salmer, preparing for a marathon. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters, honored guest, and new member. It's my pleasure today to be able to share with you my experience with preparing for a marathon. I received a phone call from my brother-in-law, all excited. He tells me over the phone, Hermano, we're going to run a marathon. He's writing BART, and he sees this poster that has a training program, six-month training program, to prepare for a marathon. And all this spurred from the movie Bucket List. Of course, I didn't have that check mark yet. But was hoping to have it at some point soon. So at that point, I said, yes, let's do it. The San Francisco AIDS Foundation had a training program in 2007 for the 2008 San Francisco Marathon. Little did I know that uh, that particular marathon is one of the more challenging marathons. There's a lot of hills, and the but the climate is fantastic, great running weather. We began training in late 2007 went through six months of training, and one of the things that I learned was that there were three very key elements to being able to not only complete the marathon, but also be able to finish and have an accomplished something that I think a lot of people would like to be able to do. But when you begin, there were quite a few people that began the training and didn't end up finishing the training course or running the marathon. So I was very fortunate to be able to go through a program like this. And the three things that I had realized were that rest, nutrition, and training were key elements. Training I always thought was something that would be part of preparing for something like this, whether it be a marathon, a triathlon, or whatever task or event you wanted to participate in. But the other two kind of knew a little bit about, but didn't realize how important they were. So the rest, nutrition, and training, those are the key elements that I found and learned that it was very important for me to actually have to finish preparing and actually completing my very first marathon. I haven't done one since then, done a number of half marathons, but I was very thankful that I actually went through that course. Rest is one of the things that I realized that I always kind of thought of rest as having mental um, alertness and sharpness to be able to be prepared for anything mentally. But physically, rest is also important because your body requires time to restore itself. And when we're sleeping, that's one of the things that's actually happening. We would do training runs on Sunday mornings. And then during the week, we would do what they, what they call training or maintenance runs. Between those runs, you need a day or two between each of the runs so that your body can physically restore itself. Your muscles are being broken down. Your cardio is also being taxed. So with that, rest is really key. Your mental alertness is also key because mentally there's a technique with running that will minimize the amount of energy that you're actually exerting when you're actually moving forward. And those are some of the things that the trainers actually showed us that when we were running, they would actually be with us, kind of critiquing our running styles and giving us tips on how we could be more efficient on how we were running. But in order to remember to be able to do that, you had to have proper rest. <clears throat> Mental alertness and sharpness comes through getting adequate sleep. So along with that, you would want to make sure that not only were you allowing your mind to rest, but your body to rest so that all the other elements that you're actually incorporating into your training would be at their best. 
Nutrition was the other thing that I really learned. I found at times that there were, my diet was not actually feeding my body what it really needed in order to be at its, its optimal level. Now, not being a professional athlete and training as rigorously as they do, one of the things to keep in mind, or at least that I found, was that I was at a disadvantage because I was fitting this into my everyday life. So I learned to eat properly, more healthy. I also learned that hydration was a big part of it. I couldn't drink water the day before and be able to run a 16 mile run. I had to actually be able to take days prior to that to let the hydration take place so that when I did do the longer runs, it was already there. Carbo loading was really key. I learned a little bit about that. That was big. Um, using good sugars for energy as opposed to just body fat. The body's more efficient if it's using certain types of energy um, that is stored in your body. So I learned a lot about that. The other thing that I already kind of knew about was training. The training was <coughs> fantastic because in training, there was a schedule. It was real easy, it was building blocks. We started at three miles and we worked our way up to 26. I couldn't believe I was gonna actually run that far. Three was the most I'd ever run before. And after running five miles, I thought, okay, I have a long way to go. And I'm thankful I had six months to actually recover because it took the six months to do. As we went through the training and were able to achieved 16, 18, 20 miles, I started to feel like I could actually do it. But it was very taxing, it was very... I was invigorated that I could actually go that far. The day of the actual event, the 23rd mile, I was on the cusp of hitting that wall, so to speak. But, with all the training that I had done and preparing, having proper rest, nutrition, and the training that I actually spent over the course of six months, I felt that I could get that last three miles out of my body, uh, mentally and physically. Fortunately, I actually finished the uh, 26.2 miles. I count that point two because it does count. <laughs> and it was quite a that was quite a day looking back to see that. So those are the three things that I learned was rest, nutrition, and training. Thank you.